In this demo, I'm going to show you two of the features of Expedient's on-site cloud with Disaster Recovery as a Service product. The first being the hybrid functionality which allows you to move a virtual machine from one geographic location to the other without losing any connectivity and communication. The second being our push button disaster recovery product that allows you to move multiple virtual servers from one site to the other with a very, very low RTO time. To get started, let's show what site we're actually running on. So by doing a trace route to the public IP, we'll quickly see which actually data center we're communicating to and is serving as the primary site. If you look at the third line, the address that it actually gives you back has upa-core.expedient.com. This tells me UPA is actually a short name for one of our Columbus data center facilities that my active website now is running in our Columbus data center. That active website is a simple WordPress site that you can see here. The WordPress site is really made up of three virtual servers. You have a firewall, the Juniper VSRX, you have a web server, which is running Apache, and you have a database server running a Maria database. If you take a look at the vSphere web client, you can see that we have two different sites. On the top here, the 10.10.10.106, it says TDP, which stands for our Tide Point Lab in our Baltimore data center. This is going to be the secondary site. And below it, you have the 10.250.52.100, which is saying the upper lab which shows that this is our Columbus data center, right where our trace went to. Now, this configuration does not have a private connectivity between the two sites. It runs completely on the public internet. So there's a public internet connection into Columbus and a public internet connection into Baltimore. You can see that we've stretched multiple VLANs across this tunnel using the layer two encapsulation feature of NSX. So the first to demonstrate the hybrid capability of this solution, I'm going to move the database server from Upper Arlington, which is our Columbus data center, to Tide Point. To do that, you're probably all familiar with this, you use the migrate feature. You'll want to change both compute resources and storage, and we want to move it to the Tide Point lab, and we'll put it in the WP resource pool. Plenty of disk there in the lab, so we're good there. Put in the virtual machine pool. And we'll choose the network that it will receive when it gets to the other side. Select next, high priority, and we are ready to go. Now, during this time, we'll actually run a constant ping from the web server to the database server. Okay, we're at 90% here, so we will be seeing the web server that's con contacting the database server right now switching over. You can actually see it switched as the milliseconds times changed. So it went from under one millisecond to 16 milliseconds, running to the 13, somewhere around there. As it's gone, from Columbus to Baltimore. And now you can see the database server is over in Baltimore. Web server is still living in our Columbus site. That gives you full hybrid mesh capabilities to allow you to move a virtual machine from your on-premise, being in the Columbus site, into the Expedient data center simulated as the Tide Point data center in Baltimore. Now, let's do a complete failover from Columbus to Baltimore. So say we had a disaster event. We'd log into our Zerto panel here. And you can see we have one VPG set up. There's two VMs inside of it. The Juniper VSRX, which is our firewall, and the web server that we have running as our Apache front end. So on the VPG side, let's do a live failover here. And we're going to fail this into Tide Point, so into our Baltimore data center. And we will set up reverse protection. So in case we want to go back to Columbus, we'll hit next. 
and we will hit the big red button to start our failover. Now we are going to lose RDP connectivity here. So I will start and actually run a constant ping to the website. All right, you can see, let's refresh this. It should send all the tasks. Yep, you can see Zerto getting ready to complete the failover here. Let's bring up the consistent ping and we'll watch it fail over from one site to the other. There we go. So it's timed out now. So it's starting the failover in preparation of moving that public IP from Columbus to Baltimore. All you have to do is hit that big red button and it's gonna to start to fail. And there we go, we have response back from our web server. Pull up the website here. All looks good. Let's log back into our jump box. And we'll refresh our web client. And there you go. We have moved all of our servers from Columbus, the UPA lab, to Baltimore, the tie point lab. You can see the web server, the virtual firewall, the VSRX, and the database server that we moved during the hybrid functionality. And if we stop this and we do another trace route to it, there you have it, the third hop. You can actually see it running through the 810 core here, all the way down to the tide point core here. So you can see it's actually hitting Baltimore. So actually this is my, my site on the way out, hitting tide point here, which is our Baltimore data center. And with that, our demo is complete. Thank you for your time.